When I started off at college, I was an economics major, and then I discovered playwriting. So I ended up being a joint theater and economics major, and, and people always thought that was the strangest major, and what are you gonna do with that? It turns out, show running. <laughs> There is some value put on a singular voice. Showrunners were kind of invisible up until now, up until we branded ourselves. I think attending Comic-Con is extremely important. Writers are out in the forefront now, just like actors and directors. And you really need to not only promote your show, you need to represent your show. This is a little bit like a rock concert for a showrunner. Burnout rate for showrunners is 100%. 100% of the people who do this stop by their mid to late 50s, whether in success or failure. Look at how nice he looks, too. If you're doing it correctly, everyone that you've come into contact with, actors, the other writers, the other producers, the network, the studio, if you know that things are going well on your show, if everybody's just a little annoyed with you. I try not to get caught up in ratings, but but I do read other people's ratings. <laughs> Brandon, is now here's this is full of spoilers. I'm a little hesitant to speak. Don't 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 hesitate. Go ahead. I've probably spoken out against the networks two or three times in my career, and yet now I, I find that I'm this uh, hot-headed maverick which is amazing because, you know, I'm afraid of four-year-olds. Anytime I've been standing on a set where we're at some crisis and it's like, okay, we gotta do this and this and this, and people are like this, and I'll say, but we're not curing cancer here, guys. This is a TV show.